What's going on everybody? Just got done with another dive. It's 60 out, but the water's 74. It was a fun dive. It was getting a little treacherous. My dad had to deal with some big waves coming in. They may have been three to four, do you think? Yeah, they were about three to four. So he had to stay on his A game the whole time to make sure the boat was safe, but he got me in a good spot. I was in a shallow reef, it was pretty cool. Saw some fish. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Before I start to talk about any particular fish, I want you all to listen to the sound of the reef. This is something I can remember hearing even as a kid. The sound of so many animals in the same area producing a fantastic orchestra of life. I've heard that fish listen for this sound to find their way back to their reef. Today I will be showing you an amazing reef built around this drop off. Depths will range from around 6 to 25 feet throughout the video. These blue and yellow fish are Spanish hogfish. There are also wrasses like the hogfish seen in my previous videos. Spanish hogfish like these have blue highlights near their dorsal fins. However, in deeper waters they are seen sporting more purple to red coloration. This was my first time diving this reef while there were powerful swells passing over. Near the edge of the ledge, the fish and I had a difficult time controlling our positions during sets of waves due to the energy passing through the water. Here I am approaching a nurse shark. This one is about as big as I am. There is no real danger while coming across these guys, but these carnivorous sharks do harness a very powerful bite, so it is best to give them their space. Although it eventually gained my trust, the Great Barracuda will usually startle divers when they finally spot these beasts lurking. This blue fish swimming into the frame is a spotlight paired fish. For every school of paired fish, there is usually one paired fish who takes on the terminal phase color patterns like this one. What's in these holes are rock boring sea urchins. They have much shorter spines compared to the long spined urchins that I normally see roaming the ocean floor. I'm not entirely certain, but the sand appears to have designs etched in it near the reef. This looks like the work of the living creatures and how far they venture from the rocks.
common fish of the shallows, Bermuda chubs. These chubs seen here are being swept around by the currents. This wild looking fish is a lionfish. Although they are an invasive species and divers are urged to remove them from the reef, I did not bring a spear with me on this dive. Those small blue claws belong to a yellow line arrow crab. Although the camera did not focus on him properly, you can see him stick one of his many legs out to fend me off. Although I do not recognize this coral, it appears to be some kind of Gorgonian, and there are quite a few branching off the side of this rock. I was happy to be able to capture two of these queen angelfish on camera. They can be distinguished from a similar blue angelfish by their blue crown on their forehead, deeming them queens. But it wasn't too long until the gang of French angelfish got jealous and had to block my view so they could show off their beauty. If caution is taken to avoid contact with the venomous spines of these fish, they have very edible white meat. And because lionfish are known to have very limited range, I am looking to take my sister Brooke with me when I revisit this reef so that we can harvest this invasive species. Here's a better look at the good sized great barracuda from earlier in the video. As you can see, we have more of a mutual understanding and could approach one another. This fish struggling to maintain composure in the shallow reef is a smooth trunk fish. This rough water was enough for me to bring my surfboard with us so I can't blame this fish for his clumsiness on a day like this. If you all have been enjoying my videos, like and subscribe and keep up with what I'm up to. And if you're in those states that are 10 degrees and snowing, I hope you can live vicariously through me. After we could hang out in the tranquil intercoastal waterways.